We're here with Marlon Samuels, world famous cricketer and recent winner of the World T20 Cricket Championships. So you're here with us as a celebrity judge on Caribbean Modern Search. People will be saying, you know, Marlon Samuels, a judge at, at CMS TV. Why is that? But then you have a really strong interest in fashion. I love clothes. I, I like to put myself together. Started a business, play zone, doing mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. um, going in my clothes, my, my t-shirt line, then my caps, then sneakers, jeans. Any last words for the contestants as we head to the finale? Yeah, they should continue. They should still see themselves going somewhere. Don't give up on your dream. They should take um, use this as a stepping stone. Excellent advice for the contestants. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to you know selecting the best girl who will become a superstar. The girls will have to strut their stuff on the runway and face the judges who will determine their fate. I have no competition. I have the body, I have the face, I have the height, I have the cheekbones. I just look different. any distractions come my way, I think I have what it takes to win this competition. I really do have what it takes because, as you can see, I'm very beautiful. I'm my own competition. I should be the winner. It would just be amazing and I'm pleased that the judge actually saw that a petite can come out there and put a lot on the table. As much as though I was fighting out a lot of them, I just come out there and I did my best and hopefully that somebody would see me and say, you know, so like really talented and shag of far places. My best time through this competition was knowing that each time I did a challenge, I actually made it through. All those people who doubted me, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not, you know, good enough to be here. Look out. Okay, judges, so we're looking today at two things, two challenges. 
We had the spa at Malaya, the Yee Spa. We had a photo shoot for a campaign for that um, spa. And then we had a photo shoot also to show off the property with our designer, Vain Glory, on the rocks. The girls had a pretty difficult task because they had to stand, lie on the rocks and take lovely photos. We're also looking at their runway presentation tonight um, to assess who will be our top five or six. So your thoughts so far based on photos that you've seen? Well, I think we've been very consistent with some of the, some of the girls throughout. And I think, I think um, Miss Bent, I think, continues to, is one of the people that continues to do well. Uh, Kayla Innes also is one of the people that continues to do well. And they, they do well with the pictures, well with the, the runway. The, with the runway. Uh, I think uh, Miss McPherson is also doing well. She's, she's proven to be a very serious contestant. I'll share the same view as, as Dimitri. Um, to the rock today, I think they could do much better. You know, you've been saying that the wild card Ab Abigail is kind of growing into her, her own now. She's blossoming in a little bit, and that wasn't the case earlier. But what, what were your thoughts on her photos from the spa? She come back very well, and I, right. I, I hope that she could move from strength to strength. For a petite, Cleopatra just seemed to be amping up her game every step of the way. She's killing it on all the photos. Her runway presentation tonight is amazing so far. It's just such a difficulty for a petite in the fashion world, but she has been just on her game the whole time. To our petite contestants, they've really come a long way. I mean, herself and Celine, who you thought was a real fighter. Paul has produced superstars from not the conventional sort of mold. And, and I, think, I think you're right, I think Cleopatra can compete in the big league. I guess I'm left with the people who didn't perform so well in the challenge. Um, Prout wasn't looking as lively and as bright as I think she normally does. Um, Pariana was, I think we have to uh, put a watch on her because she's young. Perhaps if she could lose a, a, you know, a few pounds around the hips, and mature a little bit, but her she face is special. amazing. Yeah, her lot face to give. is amazing. Yeah, Latanya looked weak throughout for me. She looked weak in the photos. She looked weak on the runway. It's important that even the public realizes that they're not being cut because they're not. They don't meet the threshold. It's right now, we're at a different level. We're at a different into level. Superstardom. Exactly, exactly, and everything matters now. Your the look, details. the details, overall body tone, how you present on the runway, your photos, every frame has to be spot on. I guess we have a sense of who is emerging as our top group. I mean, you have all these stars and now you're looking for the superstar. Welcome, ladies. Pulse's million dollar model search, fashion versus petites, will be right back. I am Alicia Burke and thanks to Pulse, I am living my dream. You can too. The Pulse and Vogue cover girl has set major records. Now it's your turn to become Pulse's next superstar. Join the most powerful force in Caribbean modeling. Enter the Caribbean model search today. Call or visit Pulse 9600049. It will change your life.